a joke. Okay, I got a joke for you. You can use it at school. This one's from Zach and Centurion. Woo -woo! Shout out to Zach. Okay. <sighs> How do you make a tissue dance? You put a little boogie in it. <laughs> so good. Thanks, Zach. Well, welcome. We're so glad you're here, and we can't wait to have all of the fun. Woo -woo! We're ready to get our praise on, are you? Okay, let's do this. Chapter 22 
Hillsong kids, my name is Lula and I'm so excited to be with you today. Now, you're probably wondering, why do I have angel wings on? Why do I have a halo? Well, Hillsong kids, I've always wanted to be in a TV show or movie. And I've always thought if I ever got the chance to play a part in a TV show, I would be an angel. What would you be? A princess? A superhero? That is so cool. Well, Hillsong Kids, we've been learning about the greatest story ever told. And today we've reached the final chapter. Dun, 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 dun. And I'm sure you're wondering what happens next? How does it end? Well, let's get into the Bible story to find out. How does it end? Is there a twist? Do the good guys win? These are the questions in my mind when I start watching a movie or reading a book. And now we approach the ending of the greatest book of all time. In the last part of the New Testament, the early church has continued to grow with believers in Jesus meeting all around the known world. The book of Hebrews is a letter to a community facing persecution and being treated wrongly because of what they believe. The writer speaks to Christians reminding them of who Jesus is and how He is better and more powerful than anyone who came before Him. Each letter after Hebrews highlights the struggles and hard times Christians may face and encourages believers to stay strong in their faith and to have patience even in suffering. Then we get to Revelation, an encouragement that the time will come when Jesus will return for His people Jew or Gentile. Everyone who believes in Jesus will be reunited with Him. The message of Jesus wasn't just for one group of people, but for everyone willing to accept His message. These books not only encourage Christians, but also stand as warnings about false teachers who are no longer following God's Word. Yes, I am coming soon, says Jesus in Revelation. But that was 2,000 years ago. What should we think today? Well, God has not changed His mind, and we should trust His timing is perfect. In 2 Peter, it tells us He is patient with us, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance, come to Him. The books of Hebrews to Revelation show us no matter who we are, we can follow Jesus and have faith in His Word. Jesus will return one day, and each day we can continue to live out the greatest story ever told. Wow, wasn't that an amazing Bible story? What was that? What happened to my angel wings? I thought you might ask. Well, Hillsong Kids, after listening to that Bible story, I realized something so special about you and I that we are part of God's story. This means that we don't have to be angels or superheroes or princesses to be a part in God's story. He's already chosen you and I to play our part. Point number one is supporting characters. In Ephesians 2 verse 19, it says, God is building a home. He's using us all, irrespective of how we got gotcha here in what He is building. He used the apostles and the prophets for the foundation and now He is using you. Isn't that amazing, Hillsong kids, that God has chosen you to build His kingdom? Point number two is He will come back. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, who is He? Is it Spider-Man? Is it Superman? No, 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 it's not. It is Jesus. In the New Testament, we learn all about the incredible miracles that Jesus performed during His life here on earth. But did you know that just before Jesus ascended into heaven, He made a promise to you and I. And that promise was that one day He will return. Isn't that so exciting that one day we are going to get to meet Jesus, our Saviour. That is better than meeting your favourite celebrity, your favourite princess. It is better than Cristiano Ronaldo coming back to Manchester United. Jesus is coming back for you and I. And point number three is the final chapters. Now, I love my Bible. I love all the stories in the Bible, and I'm sure you do too. Now, in the final chapters of the Bible, from Hebrews to Revelation, we learn all about what our lives should look like as Christians, as well as all the things that are going to happen in the future of the world. In 1 John 3 verse 11, it says, 
This is the message you have heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Now, as Christians, we know that God loves us so, so, so much that we just want to extend the love of God to everyone in our world. Why don't you think of one way that you can share the love of God to someone in your world today? Maybe you can give your mom a hug or you can draw a picture for your best friend. I don't know. Think of what you want to do to show the love of God to someone in your world. Have you guys ever had a bad day? Yeah. I've had a bad day, like the other day when I didn't do too well in my test at school and I was feeling so sad and so discouraged, but I was reminded of what the Bible says in Hebrews 10 verse 23. It says, so now we must cling tightly to the hope that lives within us, knowing that God always keeps His promises. This means that when we're having bad days, we can remember that God is right there with us. Even on the bad days, even on the stormy days, He's right there and He promises to never leave us and to never forsake us. Now, the part we've all been waiting for, Revelation. This is the final book of the Bible and it's filled with all these incredible images of what is gonna happen in the world leading up to when Jesus comes back. Isn't that the best, the greatest story ever told from start to finish. Now you can go and read your Bibles and read all the incredible stories. But remember, the most important thing is that the greatest story ever told includes you and I. We're all a part of God's story. How amazing is that? I love that I'm a part of God's story. Well, Hillsong kids, we're gonna go into an amazing song of worship. So why don't you stand up, you can raise your hands and we're gonna go into the song of worship.
beautiful song of worship. Well, Hillsong Kids, I wanted to extend an invitation to you today. This is the most special invitation ever. It's an invitation to ask Jesus to be your very best friend. So if you want to make that decision, why don't you close your eyes and say this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus, today I ask you to come into my life. Be my best friend. Forgive me of all the things I have done wrong. I believe you are the Son of God and that you died on the cross for my sins. Help me to love you and live for you every day. Because of Jesus, today I am a Christian. Amen. Amen. Amen, Hillsong Kids. Isn't that amazing? Why don't we give a round of applause to all the people who made that decision today? Woohoo! That is the best decision that you could ever make in your whole entire life. Well, Hillsong Kids, I've had so much fun being with you today, and I will see you again next time. Bye. Thank you, Lula. That was oh, amazing. We're so glad that you could um, give us the word today. And we're so glad that we could be part of God's story, the amazing, greatest story ever told. And we can't wait to see you again next week. We hope you have an awesome week. You eat all the food. You do all the fun things. And we'll see you next time. Bye.